I'd like to talk to you today about my upcoming concert, which is taking place on Thursday the 23rd of July at 1pm. The concert has been organised by City Music Foundation as part of their Wallace Collection residency. The concerts usually take place at the Wallace Collection, but unfortunately that's not possible this year due to the pandemic. Instead, we're going to be broadcasting directly into your living rooms from the beautiful St Pancras Clock Tower. Like many people, um, I feel that the pandemic has hit me quite hard, despite the fact that I've been lucky to stay healthy and well. It's a strange sort of timing for me, because the lockdown started just as I was meant to be finishing my maternity leave. I had lots of projects in the works and lots of upcoming concerts that have had to be cancelled or delayed. I was also meant to be finishing off recording my next CD. I'm really grateful that I've had time to spend with my daughter as she grows and I've been with her every step of the way as she's learned to walk and learning lots of new skills. It's definitely not been easy to practice when you've got a little toddler running around trying to climb the harp or change puddles for you. But we've all learned to do things a little differently during the pandemic. I've been really grateful to CMF for all their support. They've been there for all of us artists in various ways, taking our questions, giving us support when we're trying to apply for financial assistance, and also arranging wonderful lectures for us every week so that we can keep engaged and think about new ways we might connect with audiences in the future. The concert itself will feature a variety of harp music. Impromptu Caprice by Pierre Ney and the Improvisations for Harp by William Mathias are really well-known pieces in the harp world. But there will also be new music, including two world premieres. The first was written for me by my good friend and colleague Sue Rothstein. It's called A Drywydd Glass of Dorlan, or In Search of a Kingfisher. The other is a piece that I finished this year called Fantasy at Calon Lan. Calon Lan is a very famous Welsh song and there are many, many versions of it. This is just a new contemporary twist of mine, which hopefully you'll enjoy hearing at the concert on Thursday, 23rd of July at 1pm. Ar drywydd, glas, a dorlan. Not bad pronunciation, I hope. And for those who don't speak Welsh, the translation of this poetic phrase is In Search of the Kingfisher. This is the title of a harp solo I've written for the superb Welsh harpist Gwentlian Llyr. A few years back, I had given Gwen some of my music. She told me how the third dream study Flying with the Birds Dream had spoken to her. She's given several beautiful performances of it and I was thrilled when she decided to include the piece on her debut CD. I knew the next piece I wrote would have to be for her and asked what her favourite bird was. Well, the Kingfisher is gorgeous but it doesn't exactly sing and its flight, well, it's a blue flash how was I going to portray this bird musically, I wondered. Bit by bit, the musical ideas evolved and I began writing a poem alongside. It would be about a girl going for a walk, looking to find this elusive bird. In 2018, everything was going well. The setting, the feelings, the ideas, until the part where the kingfisher is about to be seen and then nothing. I was stuck. Any ideas I had didn't work. I had listened to several clips of the bird online and on some walks even seen a few blue flashes dart past, but I couldn't seem to convey this bird in music. Then on New Year's Day in 2019, 
we decided to go for a walk in St Albans, a good place to see kingfishers I've subsequently discovered. Some people were looking with binoculars to the far side of the small river. Had they seen a deer perhaps, or an unusual bird? Thank goodness, I asked. There she was, just sitting on a low branch over the water, 30 feet away, oblivious to the not so quiet group of people watching. Wow, what a moment. I was so excited I could hardly contain myself. Back home later that day, the music came, the delight in seeing this beautiful bird. Soon after, the next part flowed, after I learned that Gwendolyn was expecting a baby. The last few months, the world, and all of us in it, has been turned upside down. The traumas that some have faced, and the health, and financial difficulties many will face are difficult to grasp. For artists, athletes, many festivals have been postponed. Wentlian was going to premiere this piece at the World Harp Congress to be held in Cardiff this July. So I had been disappointed too. But when she told me she would be playing it this year at her virtual concert at the Wallace Collection, I was thrilled. She asked if I would like to say something about the piece. Would I? Yes, I said. I do hope you will join me in the audience for Gwendolyn's wonderful programme, which will include Ardrur, Glas, Adorlan, on Thursday, the 23rd of July at 1pm.